Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today, and I'm bringing you a video on a game called Road Redemption. It's currently in early alpha, and there's a bit of a story to this game, to be honest, because there was a game called Road Rash, and this is the spiritual successor slash sequel, whatever you want to call it. And it's like Road Rash was on PlayStation 1, came out absolutely ages ago, and it's a game I played loads. I was in love with that game, I remember playing the hell out of it. And again, it was on PlayStation 1, so the amount of nostalgia I had when remembering it was crazy. To realise they're making a sequel like 10 or so years later was pretty ridiculous. And let, let's just say they've delivered. This game is shaping up to be an amazing one. It's It feels a lot like the original Road Rash, but just better in every way, in terms of graphics, in terms of gameplay, in terms of sound, music, everything. I mean, the previous one was on PlayStation 1, I'll show you like an image on screen now. That's what the graphics were like, whereas now, the graphics are like this which is such a dramatical improvement, it is absolutely ridiculous. The actual gameplay itself has been refined so much, it feels so much better, the ability to handbrake is all really smooth, there's a, phys there's a physics engine which is absolutely amazing, and the game is just fun. Now bear with me one moment. Okay, the game is, as I said, in early alpha, so the optimization isn't great and my computer can't handle it too well, meaning I've just had to turn the graphics down to actually make the game playable at a decent frame rate. So, the basic structure of the game is you ride on a bike, and you race with other bikers. You sometimes have other objectives like having to knock them off or having to just get to the end without crashing, things like that, but primarily it's a racing game and you're on a bike. Now the thing that makes this game great is you can actually attack other bikers with your weapon, left click to hit left and right click to hit right. And you can get different weapons based- oh, just go off the road quickly. Um, I'm gonna quickly get level with someone and then try and hit him. It can be a bit finicky at times, but that was also something that was present in the original Road Rash. In order to actually get close enough to bikers to hit them, you have to be pretty skilled at the game with controlling your speed and things like that. But ultimately you hit them off in order to get better weapons and to get more boosts. Speed boost if you double tap W, you can go a bit faster. And also obviously to set them back in the race. Now let's see if I can... I'm actually first, so it doesn't seem as though I need to knock people off, but I will slow down a bit to let someone get ahead so I can show you. Now, knocking them off is the most satisfying feeling. Usually it takes two hits, there's one, there's two, and now he's out of the count, which meant I got a sledgehammer. So now I can hit people with a sledgehammer, which is going to be much more powerful and have more an effect on them. So I am still first, so what I might just do is use my boost to get ahead to the end of the race, which is pretty much just around the corner. You can diverge from the track, but it does make you move slower, so it's good if you do actually pay attention to where you're driving or biking or whatever you want to call it. And there, uh, that's the end of level. I don't know what happened to that car there, but I'll see you guys on the next level. Okay, so now here's another objective. Here's one where I just need to destroy five riders. So now I've got Katana, it makes it a bit easier because it swings faster, it's got a bit more range. So there's an easy kill. You can also deflect if people try to attack you, which they do a lot of the time, especially cops. Cops are so... You see, that cop's just being up the guy in front of me. I want that kill, so you leave him alone. Um, where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Okay, use my boost, and... No, oh, there we go. All right, he's out for the count. And as you can see, the physics engine is pretty great. I won't say it's realistic, because that would be pushing it a bit too far, but the fact it isn't realistic, if anything, makes the game feel more fun. It's consistent, and it's reliable. That's what I prefer when I look for physics, en uh, physics engine. Sync like Skate Free. It's not exactly the most realistic thing in the world, but it's fun, it's satisfying, and it's fairly consistent. It does have its bugs every now and then. But again, that just makes it more fun. This is a game that doesn't try to be realistic. It tries to be arcadey. It tries to be fun. And I was thought I was going to go on a killing spree there. Holy crap. You can see. That would never happen on a real bike, nor would I be able to land that. But the fact I have means the flow of the game wasn't disrupted, and that was fun. So, that's one of the reasons I did love the original Road Rash. It was fun just doing something crazy. It was something completely unrealistic. And it was very arcadey. Arcade style games aren't too common in this day and age. I'm going to see if I can kick... No, okay, I kicked him into a car instead, I was trying to kick him off a cliff. But, just the fact that I did play so much of the original Road Rage, and now this is out, it's amazing. It, I'm getting so much nostalgia from playing it, and I, I honestly can't wait to see how it shapes up before release. As you can see now, there's not too much going in terms of content, it's just a few different kinds of levels, and um, they've got a fair amount of different weapons in, and um, I think- Whoa, holy sh- oh, um, not even going to question that to be honest. That just left a huge wreck, but oh well. I, what's going on with the cars here? Looks like I completed that level, but I'll see you guys on the next one. Now, there are various level modifiers. Like, if you look in the bottom left, you can see the difficulty, which presumably is how good the AI is. There's the traffic flow, which is fairly self explanatory. It's how much traffic there is. There's traffic density, which, um, oh no, traffic flow is basically the AI of the drivers in the cars, and the density is how many there are. Now this can get really crazy, I'll show you guys in the later levels which will be more towards the end of the video, but right now I've got explosives, which are great because, 
<laughs> the explosives are fucking awesome. I love them so much. And the fact you can get so many different kinds of weapons just make the game even more fun. Now, I actually, this is actually a race, so even though I've got explosives, as long as I finish, I win. Best thing is with explosives, you can actually stick them on cars too. So if I... Oh, there's actually no bikers near him, but you can create tactical traffic jams and things like that if there's a lot of bikers behind you. Just plant one in the car and then that's going to disrupt the flow of all the others. Something else about this game is it is multiplayer. You can imagine how fun this would be if you're playing with other people, especially with friends or things like that. Again, something that means the game is more fun than realistic. And if you were playing it with friends, that would be absolutely spectacular. I wish I did have friends who were in the alpha so I could play it with them. And then I'd be able to show you a bit more of the multiplayer gameplay. But as of right now, it's just going to be solo play, me going through the few levels that are in the Oh, shite. Going through the few levels that are in the game and basically talking about the game. If I did have to compare it to two games that currently exist, it would be a cross between trials and shite. That's, that's the bad thing about using explosives. If they get close to you, you can um, you can pretty much blow yourself up with it. It feels like a cross between trials because of the whole bike mechanic and the physics engine and a bit like Mario Kart in terms of erasing the weapons and things like that. And those two games combined make for a really, really, really fun game. Now, here's another one of my favourite kind of weapons. You get pipe bombs, so you can arm them to set a time on them, and then just drop them behind them. Oh, drop them behind you, even. So you have a review mirror where you can just drop them, and there we go. I killed one of Ian Fish, whoever that is. I think he was a cop, so rest in peace. And pipe bombs, as well as the planted C4, are probably my favourite weapons. I like the fact that they're not expendable. You can just essentially spam them, throw them out whenever you want to. So, there is a small cooldown between them, you can't just drop them willy nilly, but pipe bombs are just so damn awesome, I love them so much, as well as the C4. The C4 is a bit harder to hit, but the pipe bombs are definitely more effective. Um, I mean, the C4 is probably more effective, but the pipe bombs are just easier to hit, you can just throw them out like wild. I don't know what's going on there. Was that some kind of smoke? I'm not sure if that was a bug or an actual feature, but I've never encountered that before. Oh god, again, sorry for the frames, but if you think frames- oh, oh sh where am I going? Get back on track, please. Oh, well, that's set me back quite far. I've still got boost, so I'll try and use that to get back into the lead, but I'm currently... Oh, God, the bugs. Uh, the cars. What is going on? I I think I've lost this race. Can... What is going on? I... Maybe I need to... Yeah, I am. I'm just going to have to. Sorry, so long. Hallelujah. How am I still third? Well, I think if I finish first or second, I still win, so... Maybe there's... <laughs> <laughs> just look in rear view mirror. All that destruction I caused just then by accident. Okay, yeah, I think... Oh, wait. No, I, I don't know where the other bikers are. I think they're pretty far ahead. But I am continuing playing, so I want to show you one of the crazy uh, levels, which is absolutely amazing. And that comes a bit later on. So I will jump cut to when I get there. Okay, so this is um, insane car mode. Now this, believe it or not, isn't the worst one. This is an example of how crazy it can be, because the cars are just constantly crashing into each other and pretty much trying to make your day miserable. So, <laughs> you can imagine with all these modifiers, and this is only in the alpha version, imagine what it's going to be in the full version, it is absolutely crazy and fun. And you can imagine how, like, with friends, as well as all these cars going crazy, imagine what this would be like. It would be complete and utter chaos, but fun chaos. Fun, organised chaos, if such a thing does exist. So, this is just an example of the crazy mode, and again, I'll show you the even crazier mode that comes a bit later on, but first I need to somehow get through this insane wreck in first place. God, that's going to be difficult. I will quickly mention, the way I'm managing to bring this game to you is the developer just sort of randomly contacted me and said, hey, you've, um, you've made videos on indie games and you seem to be doing good at giving them exposure and I have a well put together channel, and then he just gave me a key, just out of the blue. I didn't contact him. So, the fact he did that is absolutely awesome, and respect to developers who do do that, I mean, it would be so easy to just go out and contact someone- oh my god. It would be so easy to go out and contact bigger YouTubers, but the fact he's come out to a smaller one like me, with an offer of getting coverage on this game for full release, that's pretty awesome. So, I'm not gonna bias my opinion in any way, if the game is bad, I would happily say it, but this is a game I'm enjoying, and this is only an alpha. So, even though I have reason to be biased with my opinion of this game, my opinion is completely unbiased, and I'm just talking from- Trying to talk and drive into oncoming traffic that's crashing everywhere is pretty damn difficult. One for you, one for you, one for you, one for you. And that's, uh, that was a really quick level right there. That was easy as hell. Here we go, level 8. This is without a doubt my favourite. And pre prepare for the absolutely horrible frames per second that come with the overload of a physics engine. But 
This one, this raining cars or car storm, whatever you want to call it. This one is absolutely ridiculous. And um, the objective isn't even to just finish first or to kill riders, it's to just finish. That's a challenge in itself, being able to finish with cars just blocking up the road. You never tell what direction they're going to go in, it's absolutely ridiculous. And as I said, for features like this, already in the early alpha version, I can't wait to see what they do with the full version of the game. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. And it's just going to make this game so insanely fun. And I guess people are wondering, this game is currently available on the Humble Store, I believe. And I think it was backed by Kickstarters. But the big question is going to be, is it going to be on Steam? And yes, it has been greenlit by the Steam community. And it will be on Steam eventually. I believe the beta access will be on Steam when that's available. And then of course the full thing will be available on Steam. So it will be an early access title primarily until the full release. So if you are interested in the game, I suppose I'll make another video when it is out on Steam and I'll show you any updates or new features that have come out. Until then, this has been me, Evans with Z111. Please be rating if you enjoyed the video and if you want to see more of this game, do let me know. And thanks a lot to the developer for giving me a key and giving me a chance to try this game and let me revisit my childhood in HD glory. Holy... I, I'm actually going to play through the rest of this level just to see if it's bloody possible. But, oh my god. Now, obviously I will, like... This is all the entertaining parts of the video is over. This is all going to be disclaimed. Oh my god. Disclaimers now. As I said, this is early access. So everything you see, not representative of final product, all that usual jazz. And the content that is in the game is unfinished. I, I mean, you know what early access is. I don't really need to wax lyrical about it. But everything you're seeing right now, it might change. It's not exactly as polished as it will be in the final version. And... Um, even things like the way you progress from level to level. I presume there will be menus and actual missions, levels, everything like that. It's not just going to be, alright, you play one game and you go on to the next. I'm trying to stay off the road here because of the impending car storm, but if I'm correct, I am close to the exit, which should be just around the corner. There it is. Okay, so I actually finished. Uh, I crashed about six or seven times, but I managed to finish. This has been me, Evans with Z111. Please, everything you enjoyed. This is me, out. Peace.